I will take that. I will take that. Right. Just in case. Some old suitcase, but no keys here. Hmm. Okay. Just spoons, knives, and forks. Quite dirty. Ugh, clean your cutlery, man. Ah, ah. Keys. These must be the keys. I wonder who's in there. Damn, none fit. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're about to join them, you nosy cunt. Oh, fucking hell. Bit brutal. Oh, my God. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Okay, I was not supposed You're to You're about to on. join them, you nosy cunt. Okay, well, you didn't need to keep repeating that, did you? Huh, huh. Do, 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 do. I'll find the bar. I know where the bar is. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Take it! <laughs> get, get wrecked. Oh, was he straight up Mitch, me go out? find a piece of rope to tie him with. Yes, ma'am. Find some rope. Ah, oh, it's, it's right there. I apologize. I got some rope. Uh, I just hope this rope will hold him. Same. This must be the cellar key. Are we going in there? Uh, oh god. No, Mitch, I'm going. You go back to the room, and this time you stay there. Please. I haven't learned anything. Jesus Christ. Apparently you learned things that scare me. And I taught you all of that. What's wrong with that? Mitch, please. Okay, Mom, I'll stay. Don't be a defiant little shit. Thank you. I don't know how I just tied him up, but... He's still got his arms out. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, what? Thomas and his friends. Jesus. There you are, you bastard. I don't know this dude, but to complete a perfect family picture, all we need is dear granny. I'm assuming. Who are you? Oh my god. What's going on? Careful. He's coming back. He must run away when he finds out. Easy. He won't hurt you now. Let us go, please. Ah, uh, Ada, Ada, Ada's mum. A blonde, a brunette, and a redhead. How long has he kept you here? Uh, I don't know. Jesus. A few years. And those little girls? They are our daughters. We could only hear them playing above our heads. Is their father. He kidnapped me when I was jogging by the highway. He entered our home, hit my dad with a hammer. Is, is my dad alive? I had a date with him at a bar and woke up in this cage. Why didn't anybody try to find us? <clears throat> uh. What's wrong with you? I'm okay now. Let's go upstairs. He'll kill us. No, he won't be up for a while.
what do we do with him? My advice? Take the justice into your own hands. If you turn him over to the police and he's sentenced, he'll be out in a few years. His kind never changes. You bitch! Oh. <laughs> oh. I had no choice. She was coming at me with a knife. Still alive. We'll take care of that. Oh, I'll be going yeah. now. Do you happen to know Max Hunter's farm? Oh, am I going to go stop them? Oh, I'm going to steal his car. We're bailing out. Who was in the cellar? I'll tell you on the road. What do you need Mr. Thomas's costume for? Uh, now I know why they were asking now about we'll the blue play Cadillac. The Should we make things right before Louisiana? Oh, yes. Yes, Mom. Let's make things right. So <sighs> I did teach you something after all. My lawfulness. <laughs> Please. <laughs> My lawfulness. I want to be a good citizen. Mom was awesome. Jesus Christ. I see that now. But on the other hand, I'd have to think twice before putting my child in danger. Mm, yes. But also, like, unfortunately, they'd kill that boy without a fucking second chance, so. Kind this of time you're not getting out first. of the car. Swear, Mitch. You swear first that nothing will happen to you. I swear. I don't believe you. I don't believe you either. <laughs> Good. Finally, Thomas. You took your fucking time. <laughs> Put that gun down, Thomas. Or you're gonna shoot that n***er before we hang him. On your knees! Thomas is gone. Get down on your knees in two seconds or you'll meet his fate. Ah! <laughs> uh. <coughs> oh shit, I should have done that. There goes a brave one. He might be alive. Wanna help him? Take your hood off. You know him? Yeah, he's our sheriff. Oh, I'm not surprised. I saw his pictures. Cuff him. You're making a big mistake. No. You made a mistake when you took off your hood for all those lynching party photos. Take his gun away. I've got your pictures, and others have them, too. Death penalty in each of them. Yeah. Uh, I don't... We've established who you are, but do you know who I am? No. To make it easy on you, I'll say that I was the one in the blue Cadillac. So you are wanted. Well, this I'm is how I see it. If I do time, you'll get the electric chair. I've got your pictures with all those people you killed. So if the cops pull me over, I'll take them out. Okay. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. If you kill us quickly, nobody sees the photos. But I've already sent them to a safe place. If a single person of a different color disappears in or around the Town of Hope... The papers get your photos. And you know what? If my son weren't looking now, I'd kill you. Just like that. Why can't you take him there, ma'am? I'm going in the other direction. I have to find Black Morass in Louisiana. Black Morass? Yeah. Have you been there? No, I'm afraid not. 
But I have a good friend who lives there, on an alligator farm. Was his name Leon? Good lord, Leon, of course. So, Louise? Leon spoke of you many times. How coincidence. Your mother said the same thing. I met her in hope. How unsearchable are his judgments, and how fathomless his ways. Your father had so much to tell you. He, he was grief-stricken that he ran out of time. Wait, what? What do you mean, he ran out of time? Find him and ask for yourself. I'll do that. I leave the sheriff in your charge, but don't do anything silly. He's gonna promise you mountains of gold. Thanks, Louise. Later, we read in the paper that a killer n kidnapped the sheriff. But the sheriff broke oh, loose and shit. killed him. But they didn't follow us. Did you get him, Mom? I'm not sure. I could have helped you with the Winchester. Once you shoot a person, you'll want to do it again. So what? So you'll kill an innocent person and you'll never forget it. Or someone will kill you. Then why did you shoot? So nobody kills you. Yeah. Are we going to see Grandpa? Person. Yes. Is Grandpa cool? He used to be very cool, but then he left his kids without a word. And my dad left us without a word, too? No. Can you be quiet for a while, Mitch? Oh, don't talk to him like that. <laughs> He's just a child. He's inquisitive. Jeez. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have killed that guy. I don't know. I, I got a rest. Are you afraid to see Grandpa? Uh, yeah. I guess so, but don't let it worry you. I'll defend you if I have to, Mom. Grandpa's not gonna harm me, Mitch. I'm just afraid we won't understand each other after all this time. Mitch, what if you had to live here? Never. <laughs> what if Grandpa turns out all right? Then we go home, right? Uh... No. You want to stay here? How long? Oh, gee, I'm just... Mitch, I'm very ill. So you need to rest. Is that why we're going to Grandpa's? We don't have much time. We have to find Grandpa. At least I hope Grandpa knows how to fish. Mom? I'm fine, sweetheart. Quite an adventure, isn't it? Yes, the best vacation ever. I love you, Mitch. I'll find the way. You just rest now. Okay. <laughs> just be careful. Man, this is sad. We both knew this oh, wasn't going to end well, and we were both hoping for something that would give this story a happy ending. Am I gonna get eaten by an alligator? Ah! Yes, I am. Huh. Quick, kid, oh, I'll help God. you. Grab my hand! Uh, I don't think he would just stand there not watching. You know, he's just staring at me for a while. Uh, are you nuts? What were you doing down there? Please shoot him, ma'am. <laughs> She's a mother protecting her young. You stepped into her nest so she wanted to eat you. Was she right or wasn't she? If she, she ate me, that wouldn't be right. She was right. What are you doing here, kid? My mom needs help. We were going to Black Morass and she got weak. Going to Black Morass on foot? You're either stupid or desperate. Uh, both. Had that monster eaten me, mom would have looked for me. And if she found whatever was left of me, she would have probably died.
Well, unfortunately, I think that's going to be the case anyway. Mom! Mom! Relax, kid. We're almost there. Yeah, to be fair, imagining tracking this on foot. Imagining tracking this on Imagine. Come on, kid. Help me carry her home. B and L alligator farm. That's Brenda and Leon. <sighs> Throw higher. I don't know what Feeling an alligator better? farm is. Like, Much better. Thank you again, do? ma'am. <laughs> they just raise you alligators. Thank your son. What would I do without you, Mitch? You must have slept for twelve hours. That's a that's a Is it really nap. true that you're looking for your old man to give him hell? What? What did you tell her, Mitch? That you're looking for a father who'd left you and that you're very sick. Mitch! I'll go get some more meat. <laughs> uh hold on, Mitch. What? Do you want to tell me something? Maybe you want to tell me something. Ooh. Uh... What do you mean, Mitch? Tell me what's really going on, Mom. Uh... I'll tell you later, Mitch. Damn it! It's always later with you. Look, man, I... shut up. The kid is no dummy. Thank you, but I think I know my own son. But does he know you? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Are you a shrink? I just raise oh, alligators. That was close. And I'm just looking for my father. I'm sorry. You're right. It's none of my business. I'm looking for my father, but not to give him hell. You won't find him here. I know he settled in Black Morass. Black Morass was flooded two years ago. Everybody moved away. God damn Did it! Did you know those people? No. I built the farm after all that happened. Mm. Feeling sick again? Come on, let's go inside. He ran Thanks. away from us when I was eight. Just disappeared. Do you hate him or need him? Honestly, both. You couldn't have made it this far on pure hate. What about you? All by yourself? I had a guy. I met him after he got out from a ten-year stretch. What did he do? Attempted murder. When he got out, he went after that same motherfucker again. <laughs> Your guy sounds like a real psycho, to be honest. That motherfucker was making moves on his daughter. She wasn't even eight. Oh, it's... yeah. <laughs> what was your man's name? Leon. Leon Connor. <sighs> I should have guessed earlier. I've got something for you. When he couldn't find you, I made him write you a letter, but he didn't know where to send it. I can't do it, Mitch. You read it. Louise, my little girl, after all these years, I still can't find you. I understand why you're avoiding me. Perhaps you even hate me. I just want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I allowed all these lies and that I couldn't protect you. Instead of looking for the bad guy, I should have just stayed with you. I'll never stop looking for you. And I know we shall meet in the end. Mm. So where is he? Hey, come back. Maybe it's time for you to come clean with your son. <sighs> yeah, I think so. Mitch, wait! Mitch, wait, there's alligators. <sighs> Mitch? Why isn't my dad with us now? <sighs> what does cheer mean? I don't... Maybe one day you'll meet your dad. When? Why do you say things that you know aren't true? You've never met yours, and I'll never meet mine. Can't you just tell me what happened? I'll tell you one day. 
So we keep playing this game that I'm stupid and I don't understand anything. Little kids are not supposed to know, right? You don't tell them everything. I'm not a kid anymore, Mom. Thanks to you. What do you mean? I mean that in the last few days, I've seen enough to stop being a kid. I'm sorry for that, Mitch. I always want to be with you, Mom, but instead of being on vacation, we keep running away. I did it all for you. You started with setting your boss's car on fire, and then it just got better and better. You're not being <laughs> fair, Mitch. No, that was really great, Mom. If you could only stop lying. What are you talking about? I think it's time for bed, Mitch. Good night. Sweet dreams, kid. I love you. I love you, son. Come and join me on the porch. Can't you just sit here? Don't make me move. All right, fine. So his father doesn't even know about him, huh? Wait, she's still on the porch. Will you take the care of him? Doc. He likes you. She's still stood I'm not going that. anywhere now. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... No. When, I, when you're ready. The boy <laughs> has a father. Yeah. A selfish bastard. Talking about what happened eight years ago is nonsense. Who's selfish now? Easy for you to say. You're not dying. Maybe you will die, but the kid and his father will keep on living. <laughs> if you don't make it, I promise I'll take care of the boy, I swear. Really? Apple Hill, from New Orleans, take I-55 North to Campwood. Then turn left onto a gravel road. After a few miles, go right. Kentwood. That's less than a hundred miles from here. I don't want him to suffer in case something goes wrong. I'll take you to New Orleans in the morning. My friend will take it from there. Thank you. I'm glad my dad finally met the right woman. Well, he wasn't too picky after ten years in the joint. <clears throat> Leon always talked about a little girl who had so much strength. Enough to defy the whole family. He always admired you for it. If I had to choose a grandma right then, I would have chosen Barbara, even if I had to live in those boondocks. After we said our goodbyes, Mom told me, if we don't make it, Mitch, you'll go back to her. I was ready for it, because I knew we wouldn't make it. Well, that's a pessimistic attitude that we don't need right now. What is this? Go ahead, look for it. Stop being silly, Frank. I have something important to tell you. Look for it. Ta-da! <laughs> Champagne, what's the occasion? Keep looking. A ticket for New York? For tomorrow? I heard back from Atlantic. They want me to start recording in the studio the day after tomorrow. That's fab. That fast? I know. It's a reward for our infinite patience. So I don't get to come? Will you join me after the session? You oh, want to okay. stay in New York? Don't you? <sighs> Frank. Yeah? You want to have kids? What? You heard me. Are you pregnant? Would you like me to be? And just when the biggest label on the East Coast wants to sign me, albums, concerts, what do you want me to say? A simple question. Do you want kids or not? So are you pregnant or not? Yes. Aren't you happy? Well, yeah, very much. Just kidding. I'm not pregnant. What? 
Jesus, are you, are you serious? You scared me. Um, yeah, I noticed. Louise, of course I want to have kids with you, but it's not the best time, okay? When the right time comes, you let me know, will ya? Hey, don't be mad. Our lives are just beginning. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, My life had just begun a few weeks earlier. I'm not sure if that made anybody else happy, but I sure was. That's the tree. Mom, I'm not moving. Do you hear oh. me? Hmm? I can't believe I'm gonna meet my dad. Feels strange. Uh support. Don't worry. He's just a black middle-aged man that you don't know yet. <laughs> what if he doesn't like me? Oh, he, he will. won't have a choice. Just be yourself. Everybody likes you. Best vacation I ever had. <laughs> I really meant it back then. And to be honest, I still do. Yay. <laughs> I thought my dad was a musician, not a farmer. Wait for me here. What a beautiful land. Hello? Good morning! Hello? The plants have been watered, so someone must live here. Hello? Hands off my plants and get out. <laughs> Good morning, Lester. Which part of get out don't you understand? I'm looking for Frank. <laughs> He's coming to give me some beef. Yeah, sick him. Oh. Come here, Plato. You're still alive, old boy. Come on. Useless piece of shit. <laughs> I see you still love animals and people. Tell me where Frank is and I'll be gone. Frank don't want to see you. Are you still in touch with him? And who are you? I'm Mitch. Good morning. Your grandson. You left him when he needed you most. Suddenly you're back thinking I'll let you ruin his life again? Get out. I left him so he could live his own life. So what do you want from him now? Child support? I've been writing to him every month. That's more than a hundred letters, Lester. He never wrote back. Now I know I had the wrong address. Enough of this bullshit. His place was always here on the farm. Where is he, Lester? Died in Vietnam. Happy now? You're lying. He got his ass kicked somewhere in Alabama. Lester! No, nah, he met a leech just like you and overdose. Oh, Either wait, way for you, oh, he Christ. don't exist. I beg you, Lester. It's very important. Please. Let's get out of here, Mom. No. You heard him. He's not here. He is. They don't want us here. Mitch! Mitch, go back, please. Mitch, wait! What? It's gonna be all right. Stop lying. You think I don't know this vacation is not really a vacation? What are you saying? See? Lying again. Not lying, I'm just asking you. Ah, oh, fuck it. Fine. You're right. You should have said that earlier. Mitch, wait! Please, Mitch. I'm not running after you very far. 
it down, Mitch. Why are you lying? Uh. Because I'm scared. You keep saying there's nothing to be scared of. Just tell me the truth. Why isn't Daddy with us? Uh. I left him, but I thought he would find me. I don't get it. Only a grown-up can understand. That means Dad was not a grown-up because he didn't look for you. And you behave like a girl from my playground. She is six. <laughs> yeah, I know. So why do you want for us to meet now? I have to find a new home for you. You need a father and a family. I don't need a father and a new family. I've got you. <sighs> I'm very sick, Mitch. Are you dying, Mom? I don't know. I guess I am. But why? We both knew about it, but we kept pretending otherwise, right? But I want to be with you. I want to be with you too, kid. Having you was the only right choice I made in my life. I'm not going to die before I find you a family. So let's go somewhere far, far away and look forever. Later, I asked my mom what thoughts a dying person has. She said, one hopes that it's not going to happen tomorrow. Mom? Mommy? Oh, no. She's barely breathing. I'll get some help, Mom. Making me sad. Please open up. My mom needs help. If you don't help her, she's gonna die. I'm not falling for that. I have to call an ambulance. What you doing, you little brat? I'll bust you up. <laughs> My mom is dying. If this is a trick. Do you have a phone? No, but the neighbors do. Where is it? Um, I'm gonna go there. No, you go get my mom. She's on that hill under a tree. Okay, okay. Go past the windmill along the fence, then straight through a field all the way to a ditch. After the ditch, you'll see a white house at the end of a row. Okay. I'm stuck. I didn't know how long that path was. I could barely see running through the rain. All I remember was my heart pounding so hard I felt it in my throat. I gotta run out of time because I got stuck. I tried not to think about mom so I wouldn't cry. Or was I crying? The hard rain drowned out my howling.
Finally, I saw a warm light coming through the rain. Ah uh ha -huh. I did it. Do you have a phone? What happened? Won't you come inside, child? No time! Please call an ambulance! My mom is unconscious and needs help! She's sick! Hello? Yes, I need help. Where should they go? To that old farm nearby. Apple Hill, Old Lester Johnson's farm. They're coming. You should dry off. No time! I have to go back! Wait! I'll grab my kid and go with you. Let's go. Okay. Are you bringing a baby out in the storm, you mad, mad woman? Come on, help me take your mom inside. Dad, take care of the baby. Mitch, you give me a hand. Wait, that's... We oh, have okay. to warm her up. Start the fire. It's cold in here. Will you light it up, boy? So that's my auntie? Thanks so much for the help, you and your daughter. Melanie is my son's wife. Oh. My dad's wife? Well, yeah. Can she hear us? I think she does. Maybe if I bring back my dad, you'll wake up? Mom? Where's Frank? Frank? My dad. Who? Playing at the Blue Barn like every Thursday. There's a neon sign by the off ramp. I might, I'm just going to steal your van, hope you don't mind. Oh. Oh, jeez. I thought I was waiting. Oh my god, what is that noise? I was kind of waiting for a cutscene to just I've never driven a truck like that before. But that night I found out that I could. Yes. Convenient. Stop cutting in, kid. There's no room. Ah, oh, fuck you. That's when the time stopped. I saw my dad for the first time. Alright, so I'm assuming I'm gonna sneak in through this back window. Do 
You have to help my mom, sir. You're interrupting, boy. Where are your parents? You have to come with me, or she's gonna die. You want me to kick that kid out? Wait, Andy. Chill out, kid. What's up? I'm Louise Connor's son. Lou? And your son, sir. Jeez. Do you know this girl? Is it her? Please say something to her, sir. Play her something you wrote for her. Dad. Oh. Mom woke up and lived a few more days. She was strangely calm. Oh, then no. she was gone. It was the best month of my life, but also her last. We'd been together like never before, and I think she loved it too. Mom really tried hard, and everything we went through influenced who I've become. Who did I become? Today is the anniversary of my mom's death. I'm the same age now as she was when she died. She wanted to change many things, but she ran out of time. Sometimes I have a feeling she's right behind me, whispering into my ear, don't mess it up, Mitch. My mom always told me to take care of myself. I made it through high school and through the army. Now, I'm a middleweight champ. Hey. I work hard and I win. But I also know there's someone training out there who'll knock me out one day. I also have a son. The best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm trying to show him everything that's good about life. And I hope I won't run out of time. I'm just now beginning to understand what my mother felt when she found out about her illness. I understand how much she lost. My mom loved me. She did her best for me. She won some. She lost more, but one thing she managed for sure, the best month of our lives. Well. I feel like that was a good ending. I feel like it could have ended up worse. Well, that was best month ever. I actually really enjoyed this game. It wasn't a particularly long game, but it was it was fun. It was it was good to play. If you if you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, please. And uh I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.